welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to talk about my way speed journey. I really wanted to use this as a space to document my way speed journey. I feel like I've literally documented everything else. I've put so many things in this space, um, just following the journeys of my life and the different uh, avenues and roads that I've traveled. And most of you guys know already that I stumbled upon this beautiful cultural traditional African practice of waist bead wearing and it has literally blown my mind and changed my life and I feel good a lot of you guys that started following this channel initially were moms as well a lot of you guys were on a pregnancy journey with me when I was pregnant with Penelope and a lot of you guys are really starting to jump back into fitness I see and really just getting your lives back on track I know that I've been feeling much better I'm completely past that whole postpartum like mom slump where you kind of just don't feel like yourself and I'm feeling like myself I'm feeling like I'm getting my body back intact I'm feeling like just good again and so with that being said I wanted to start documenting my waist journey and I just wanted to share a little bit about that with you guys so what the heck are waist beads? There is a lot of really good and really legit information out there on YouTube about waist beads. There's people talking about it, starting conversations about it, documenting their own journeys about it. Um, so you can look and find some really good one channel in particular that I will link below. Waist Beads 101, shout out to you girl. I love that video. And for those of you that are searching for information, um, that's part of the reason why I'm doing this and documenting I know when I'm looking for something and there's a source out there it makes me happy to know that someone else is on the same journey so with that being said waist beads are basically body jewelry they are uh, beaded jewelry that either clasps or ties on around your waist and they are an ancient uh, African practice there's talk over where it has originated and um, different texts say different things. I don't know 100% for sure, so I will definitely say that if you're interested in the history of waist bead wearing and where it actually originated from, to really jump in and do your research so that you can find that information. Um, and as I continue to find information, I'll share it with you guys. But um, it was the original scale. It was something that women used to shape their bodies. They were namely in some areas of Africa for sensuality, strict for sensuality only to be seen by your partner worn underneath the clothes in other areas they were worn as fashion or symbols of status uh, in other areas they were given to young girls as rites of passage so there's many 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 different uh, cultural practices involved with the wearing of waist beads and so I was initially drawn to them by somebody on Instagram that I saw and I was like Ooh, those are cute. I don't even know what really drew me to them like so much, but I was like, I kind of I, I want some of those. And so I did a little inquiring and I was like, you know what? I have some beads in the garage and you guys know me like being super crafty. If you're new to this channel, I'm a crafter. You can scroll all the way down and see how I've basically done like literally so much stuff. Just crafted the house. I've crafted... I, I like to do stuff and so I knew I had beads in the garage and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try to string some. I wanted them immediately. I didn't want to wait to order none. I didn't want to try to go through the process. I'm like, I want some of those things on my belly right now today and I'm ready to figure out how I'm gonna do it. And so I had this big thing of seed beads in my garage. I went and I got some uh, cotton string and I strung myself some waist beads and I tied them on myself and there was this immediate uplifting. I mean this immediate shift in my confidence and when I say immediate it was like a switch turned on and for once I looked at my midsection I looked at my center I looked at this area that has been this problem area for me for so long this area that I picked apart when I look in the mirror and I looked in the mirror and I looked with a smile and I looked with confidence and I looked with love and I looked with like damn girl like I felt really really good in that moment I was drawn in right away I've been working with women through sensual movement to help pull the confidence and the sexy out of women and to help them connect to their center and to teach you how to be confident and how to feel sexy and to be honest like it was in an instant that these waist beads did that very same thing that I think that I spent a lot of time 
working with people with. So what a great and amazing tool, not only to be able to use alongside of central movement, but even just for myself. So I rode with it and then I made a ton of beads and I put beads on every single person that I knew. They got gifted some waist beads. They started telling me different things. They loved them or it made them feel like this or when they looked in the mirror, they felt like that or they felt like they had this little secret going on or they felt sexier or they felt more confident or all of these different like feedbacks were coming back to me so then I started like scrolling and like stalking Instagram and really just doing kind of like my own research checking to see like what is up with these waist beads and I just it has been magical every step of the way. I have allowed myself to really just open up and be led through this whole process. I am using my waist beads currently for weight tracking. I'm also using them just to aid in sensuality. I'm using them to continue to keep my confidence increased. My husband loves them, like I love them. My girls have them on. I feel like they are just a really beautiful and um, very wise way to not only track our weight and to not only only uh, reestablish a connection to ourselves and to our center um, but I think it's a beautiful way to shift how you feel about yourself especially when your talk to yourself is negative especially when that stomach or that center space for you is a problem because we shouldn't be disconnected from our center we shouldn't be disconnected from that womb space so I really love that it sort of gently guides us and brings back this connection and I think that there's so much wisdom within these waist beads that I don't even know yet that I'm happy to find out that I'm happy to endure the journey and go on the journey with them so um, I am also using my waist beads for intention setting and so and I did set intention into my waist beads and I basically just you know held them close and really just breathed life into my waist beads what do you know for my weight tracker what exactly am I trying to do with this and I'm just tying this thing on and hoping that magic happens but in putting this on I am intending to be more mindful of the things that go in my mouth I'm intending to be more mindful of the way that I talk to my body I'm intending to be more mindful of how much movement I'm getting in and to increase it if I'm not moving my body and and so I set these intentions in and I tie them on and so now not only do I have these beautiful reminders of these intentions that I said and these things that I want to do with my life and the energies that I want to like invite and bring into my life through color and all of that but my stomach looks badass and for once like I can look at it like I want to wear a halter top all the time and that ain't something that I would have wanted to do before like just no 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 like show my stomach yeah right my c-section scars from four kids like my stretch marks like my belly flap or my muffin top fuck no I'm not showing none of that but honestly like y'all I'm about to have all this body in a bikini all summer long and I invite you to have your body in a bikini all summer long too and no matter what size like none of it even matters this is a shift in confidence and I am down for the ride so I want to keep you guys posted on my weight loss journey through my waist beads and really just how it is going and how um, they're doing and what I'm learning from them and what they're teaching me and you know how intentions are being manifested through them I have been making them so if you are interested in waist beads or even finding out just a little more about what they are head over to Instagram and search for at intentionally wasted and I will link it down below and yes I'm gonna give myself a little promo here but if you want some waist beads you can also get some from me I would love to uh, get you wasted and you know help you get started on your journey and if you are already rocking waist beads from any of the fabulous makers out there that are making waist beads then what's up with your journey how is it going comment below or head over to Instagram DM me and let me know how your waist bead journey is treating you and what has been going on and what you are learning and what your waist beads are teaching you what your ancestors are teaching you and what this beautiful traditional wise practice has been showing you thank you guys so much for stopping by i hope you enjoyed this little video into my waist bead journey and i will keep you guys posted on the rest i will catch you guys in the next one bye Tick tock, you don't stop, stop to the hard tick tock, you don't stop, stop to the hard tick tock, you don't stop, stop to the hard tick tock, you don't stop, stop to the hard tick tock.